When installing corrugated siding, chances are you will need to install trim around a window or doorway. This is done using either head trim or jam trim. In this video, we will go over the differences between the two and how to install them for a doorway application. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. Head trim and jam trim look very similar. All trims come with a color outside and a primer inside. The main difference between the two is that jam trim comes with a return on the hem side. This return will help conceal any primer from being seen when installing vertical corrugated siding. Jam trim is an excellent choice for vertical siding applications. However, you must plan your layout properly. If the high seam of your panel lands where the return of the trim is located, the return will prevent the panel from inserting into the trim. If this happens, you'll need to use head trim instead. Another option is to use Ys or duckbill clamps to carefully hem down the return leg of the trim. If you are running your corrugated panels horizontally, jam trim cannot be used because the return leg will prevent the high seams from fully inserting into the trim. Installing trim. Start by measuring the length of trim needed on the sides of your door. Measure and mark the distance onto all three sides of your trim. Next, using a speed square, draw a 45 degree line on the face side of your trim from your first mark. From this mark, draw a line around all sides of your trim. Square cut your trim at this mark. Next, cut out the mark section shown from the side of your trim. Trim off any burrs that may have occurred from your cut. Repeat this process for the opposite side of your door. Fasten your trim using pancake screws 12 inches on center. Next, we'll prepare the top side of the trim. For the top section of trim, you will always use head trim. Start by measuring the distance between the two inner sides of the vertical trim you just installed. On one end of your head trim, mark a 45 degree line on the face side of your trim. From where the 45 degree line ends, mark a straight line on the sides of your trim. Using metal cutting snips, carefully cut the 45 degree mark on the face side of your trim. Next, notch cut the side of your trim up to your mark.
From this mark, measure out the distance that is needed between the two inner sides of your vertical trim. Using your speed square, make a 45 degree mark at the face side of your trim. From this point, make a mark across the side of your trim. Square cut your trim at this mark. Next, notch cut the side of your trim up to your mark. Carefully cut the 45 degree mark on the face side of your trim. When installing the head trim, if you have jam trim on the sides, you will need to hand seam close the return on the top section of your jam trim. Slightly pry open the outer hems of your head trim. Place your head trim into its position. Make sure the head trim lays on top of the vertical trim. Bend the head trim tabs downward 90 degrees. Fasten your head trim with pancake screws 12 inches on center. Want to learn more? Check out our corrugated installation playlist found on this page. Help support our channel by hitting like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly. Want to learn about base trim or installing corner trim? Check out these videos.